Elon Musk is back at it again with his idea of nuking the surface of the Mars to terraform it or make it habitable for the humans. After trading nuke the Mars, Musk is now selling t-shirts on the SpaceX online shop with the same message printed on it. In an interview at Stephen Colbert's late night show in 2015, Colbert and Musk had talked about the humans going to the Mars. Just warm it up. If you with want, a blanket or with what? <laughs> how would you, how well, would you warm Mars up? You know, this, it's, it's this a the long fast way, way away from the sun. It's the fast way uh, and the slow way. Okay. Uh, give, me, <laughs> give, me the, give me the fast way. The fast way is, is drop thermonuclear weapons over the poles. However, the recent NASA study titled Inventory of CO2 Available for Terraforming Mars explored how much CO2 is present in Mars and the planet. According to the 2018 paper, collectively found that there isn't much of carbon dioxide left on the planet to start off with, significantly the greenhouse effect or the greenhouse warming in the atmosphere. It concluded that the terraforming the fourth rock from the sun is practically impossible with the present day technology. Musk followed this up on the Twitter by saying, there is a massive amount of CO2 absorbed into the soil that had been released upon heating. Discover magazine went into the deeper dive with this claim, asking the scientists whether this could actually work out. Bruce Jekowski, head of the NASA's Mars Maven mission and late author of the paper, said that although there is absorbed CO2 in the Martian soil, Extracting it is a simple process with present-day technology. Jackasky suggested that there are two possibilities where one could import and manufacture a huge amount of CFC gases to be released in the atmosphere and second was to build a massive mirror as large as a Mars to rapidly heat up the surface, releasing the trapped CO2, and still the amount of released CO2 won't be able to achieve the comparable air pressure and the Earth at sea level. Whether the idea of terraforming Mars with nuclear weapons work out or not, Musk's space company SpaceX has been working on the Starship spacecraft that will eventually transport humans to the moon. The Starship vehicle will aim to travel to the Mars in the future and set up a base on the planet. SpaceX is working on building two orbital Starship prototypes named MK-1 and MK-2 at the facilities in Texas and Florida respectively. An earlier prototype of the Starship called Starhopper completed the first test before and it has successfully conducted the second test in Boca Chica, Texas.